Greetings, and welcome to the Brodio Christmas Playlist on NPR. The Brodio Christmas Playlist is proudly sponsored by Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, we take cheese seriously. Looks like the first song we have for you today is Bing Crosby. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Welcome back to the Brodio Christmas Playlist. 90 minutes of commercial-free music, sponsored by Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, better ingredients, better pizza. Now for a song requested by Alec Green of Phoenix, Arizona. This one goes out to you, Alec. Welcome back to the Rodeo Christmas Playlist, sponsored by Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, it's not delivery, it's Pizza Hut. NPR is sponsored by listeners like you. That's why this next song goes out to Michael Teep of Scottsdale, Arizona. Thank you for your generous $4,000 donation, Michael. It's greatly appreciated. Happy holidays, everybody! Welcome back to the Brodeo Christmas Playlist on NPR. Sponsored by Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Eat up. It's Pizza Hut. Please join us in the next break where we will be interviewing Raylan Golay, a Pizza Hut team member. Raylan Golay, this one's for you. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Welcome back to the Brodeo Christmas Playlist on NPR. If you're just joining us, during this break, we'll be interviewing Raylan Golay of the Pizza Hut family. Now, Raylan. Tell us, what is your favorite pizza? You know, to be honest, after working there for so many years, all that shit starts to taste the same. Um, if, uh, Raylan, we would, it would be greatly appreciated if you could tone down on the swearing. Um, how, how does the Pizza Hut stuffed crust pizza compared to a typical pizza. Are you serious? Okay, all right. Well, I mean, to be honest, it's kind of obvious it's in the name of the pizza. It's stuffed with cheese, unlike anything else I guess you're going to get. I, I mean, like I said before, like why would you order from pizza? This is this is shit. It's not quality. Again, we're going to have to ask you to tone down on the swearing. This is a public access show, and we could get fined. And how is this stuffed crust pizza prepared? Describe the baking process. Well, they, uh, and by they, I mean me, or I don't know, it depends. Sometimes Jose is working. Uh, we just kind of go into the freezer. We grab, uh, you know, all the crap, all the ingredients. We put it together, throw it together on that uh, frozen slab that they like to call crust. Put that shit in the oven, and like two to three minutes later, if you know, if we don't feel like spitting in it, uh, you know, it really depends. Like if you piss us off, we'll spit in your. Shit. Uh, I mean, if you tip well, yeah, okay, we won't spit on it. I mean, you might find a hair, but I'm uh, oh, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, you just throw it in the oven, and it's ready in like two minutes, and then we put our signature garlic seasoning on the crust. In addition to the stuffed crust pizza, there is the Cheesy Bites pizza. Raylan, can you describe the Cheesy Bite pizza? Uh, I feel like I just answered this in the last question. I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean I'm going to keep repeating it. Don't, don't eat this. This is not food. This is garbage. But it's essentially the same damn thing as the other pizza. You got cheese in the crust, but they just f***ing cut the crust in a little bites for you to and throw up birds. Pizza Hut is consistently ranked number one in pizza chain restaurants. What do you do as an employee to maintain this position? Um, well, I, uh, what the f*** did you say? Yeah, 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 I'm not following the script. No, okay, you want to f***ing come in here? Make me. You know, here's what I think your f***ing little script. How about that, mother f- Uh, what was the question again? We'll go to the next question. 
I hear that Pizza Hut is doing a promotion where YouTube celebrities create pizza recipes. Can you elaborate? Duh. I mean, uh, this is the first I've heard of it. I literally just work in the store. I, I no idea what their promotionals are. Uh, I am assuming that's just where they ask some asshole to uh, look at PizzaHut.com and put their own favorite toppings on. I mean, this is like stuff any little jackass can do online. Uh, will, will you give us a preview of one of these pizzas? Just a taste. God, ugh. I mean, all right. I mean, like, all you do is you, you put your favorite toppings. It's, it, I, I can't do this. I, I, I can't do this anymore. I, I mean, you know, as a kid, you grow up thinking, hey, I'm going to be a doctor or a lawyer or an astronaut. You know, you don't, you don't wake up every day and think, ah, oh, God, yeah, I just want to be a, a pizza boy. That just, that just doesn't happen. You know, when I was young, I had dreams and aspirations. I was going to college. I was getting a degree. And then, I mean, you know, I had to drop out of college. And, you know, life, life just caught up so fast. I, I didn't know what to do. I, the only thing there for me was Pizza Hut. And I, I just, my life fell away. I, I, I can't do this. I can't fucking do this. Holy shit. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't. Oh, oh, the mistletoe. How the f are you bringing a gun into the studio? Some you call the police. I'm on the fucking radio. Kiss her once for Who me. The f turn the mic on. Have a holy jolly Christmas. And in case. Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Welcome back to uh, the Birdie of Christmas playlist uh, on NPR, sponsored by Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, it's, it, it's good pizza. Unfortunately, we'll have to cut this broadcast short uh, due to technical difficulties. Um, but we'd like to thank you for spending your Christmas with us, and we are looking forward to see you next year. Our last song is a request from Joe DeBenny of Phoenix, Arizona. Barking Dogs performing Jingle Bells. NPR and Pizza Hut would like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs>